Welcome to the second week of Advent's reflection and candle lighting. These tones call us into sacred space. You are invited to take slow, deep breaths and envision God's spirit flowing through you. Let all stress out as you exhale and gently put aside all that has come before and all that will come after. In the beginning was a light, and the light was God's love, and God was love. This is no time for a child to be born, with the earth betrayed by war and hate, and a comet slashing the sky to warn that time runs out and the sun burns late. That was no time for a child to be born in a land in the crushing grip of Rome. Honor and truth were trampled by scorn. Yet, here did the Savior make his home. When is the time for love to be born? The inn is full on planet Earth, and by a comet the sky is torn. Yet, love still takes the risk of birth. This week, we light the second candle, the candle of love. You're invited to gaze upon the flickering candles. And as you gaze at them, reflect on the light of God's love that shines in and through your life, even in the darkest night when clouds shroud the moon and the stars. Centering your attention on your breath. Allow this light to fill you and burst forth from every cell in your body. Breathe deeply and with each breath you take, connect the light that flows down from heaven into the earth beneath your feet. Feel the connection of heaven and earth that flows in and through you. Hold each breath for a moment, savoring this precious connection. As you exhale, focus on releasing the shadows that haunt your dreams and steal your strength. Continue to breathe in and out until you rest in the arms of love. Our reading is from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 8 and 18 through 29, and from John chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. Dear friends, let's love each other because love is from God, and everyone who loves is born from God and knows God. The person who doesn't love does not know God because God is love. There is no fear in love. The perfect love drives out fear because fear expects punishment. The person who is afraid has not been made perfect in love. We love because God first loved us. Yes, God so loved the world as to give the only begotten son that whoever believes may not die, but have eternal life. God sent the only begotten one into the world not to condemn the world, but that through the only begotten, the world might be saved. 
While music is played, you're invited to think about this reflection question. In what way is God's love making you new this Advent and Christmas season? Please join me in the spirit of prayer. God, thank you for showing us what love is. Help us to love you and to love one another. We wait for Jesus with hope and love. Amen. Love has come. Be open to its transforming power. Be prepared to embrace it with a full heart be ready to receive love incarnate, the coming of love. Go in peace and love.